Hi, I'm Richie Armagost, and this is your Fighting Scots Weekly Update. This week, we're starting off with our Athletes of the Week. This week's honor will go to Rana Elshuni, the guard of the women's basketball team. She has done well this week, scoring 22 points and 5 assists up against Notre Dame and 15 points with 5 helpers, 4 steals, a team-high 6 rebounds up against Salem. In the 2021-2022 to season, Rana earned all PSAC West first team honors. She was averaging 12.5 points per game, and she led the Scots with 108 assists. It showed how she can help lead the Scots to victory in the game against Davis and Elkins this upcoming Wednesday. Congrats to Rana, and keep up the great work. Let's continue with our second athlete of the week, Isaac Bernard, the quarterback of the football team. He has done well this week as the passing leader of the game up against Lock Haven this past weekend. Isaac Bernard completed a 12-yard pass to Mike Watkins and then an 18-yarder to Nico to advance the ball to Lock Haven 17. He scrambled for four, then connected on a back shoulder throw to Watkins for the score given Edinburgh a 13-6 lead. He finished the game 20 of 27 for 251 yards and two scores. Congrats to Bernard and keep up the great work. Bella Bruley, Alicia Eldridge, and Erica Sharp of the women's volleyball team landed on the all PSAC West all-conference squad. Bella Baruli was the lone first team selection for the Fighting Scots. She is the lead hitter for the Fighting Scots. She recorded 291 digs and 33 blocks to Gio with 40 service aces. Alicia Eldridge and Erica Sharp landed on the second team. Eldridge was the trigger for the Edinburgh offense, dishing out 876 assists this season and finishing her career with 3,888 helpers. An offensive weapon as well, Eldridge finished with 127 kills, the highest single season total in her career. She ended with a career total of 1,085 digs to end the 2022 season off. Sharp was a highly effective middle for the Fighting Scots, recording 237 kills with a hitting percentage of .386. She added 73 total blocks on this season. Continuing with women's volleyball, the Fighting Scots women's volleyball team lost 3-2 up against Gannon for the PSAC quarterfinals. The Fighting Scots now await a potential bid for the NCAA Atlantic Regional. On Friday, the women's basketball team went up against Notre Dame and won 92-72 on Saturday. The Scots won 80-85 up against Salem. The men's basketball team went to Fairmount and Glenville this weekend and lost both games. They lost to Fairmount 101-70 and then they lost a close game to Glenville 73-72. The Fighting Scots football team closed out the season with a, on a, with a senior day victory up against Lock Haven 26-13. The Scots now have a 12-win streak up against the Bald Eagles. This game closed the season and the Scots will return to practice in the spring. The wheelchair basketball team traveled to Michigan this weekend. The Scots went 4-0 this weekend up against the University of Michigan. They won the first game 55 to 41, the second game 44 to 31, the third game 50 to 47, and the fourth game 47 to 36. The wrestling team has four place winners at the Appalachian State Invitational. Cameron Soda and Luke Kemmer went, er, each earned fourth place finishes while Jared McGrill and Nick Lodio, which earned six. Upcoming, the women's basketball team is going up against Davis and Elkins College on Wednesday. The last time the Scots went up against the Senators, we won 77-72. to 
Then on Saturday, the Scots will go up against Bluefield State College. The men's team is going against Tiffin University at Macomb Fieldhouse before traveling to Rochester, New York and going against Roberts. On Saturday, the men's and women's cross country teams will be going to the NCAA Atlantic Regionals after the teams finished fourth and fifth place in the PSAC Championships last week. The wrestling team will be going to the WVU duels on Sunday. That's all for this week. For more details and updates for sports, go to GoFightingScots.com.